What it is, what it do, Cyber World. It is your girl, the one, the only, Ash Brown, and this is the Ash Said It Show. Over 1,800 episodes, half a million streams, and growing all around the world. Thank you guys for all your love and support. Because you guys love on me so much, I get to talk to pretty phenomenal, amazing people. Today, my guest is certified relationship coach, motivational speaker, author of Letters to You, and everybody's homegirl, How to Love a Battered Woman, the phenomenally talented Nia Renee. Hey, Nia. Hey, girl. (laughs) That's how you do it. I love that. I love the energy. How you doing? I'm doing good, boo. How you doing? (laughs) <laughs> I'm doing good. That got me hyped. Oh, up. right. That's what I'm go. talking about. You know that we gotta have that energy going on, girl. Gotta yeah, have that yeah. going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dear Renee. Okay, so to start things off, first things first. Where did the name, the handle for? All of your social platforms, how people can find your website and everything, how to love a battered woman. Why did you pick that particular name? So I honestly, it was crazy. I was sitting there and at the time, so I started this in 2018. So how to love a battered woman was was established in 2018 while I was in an abusive relationship with someone who I was trying to teach how to love someone who's endured the things that I did. Mm. And and I was like, well, I mean, it kind of started as more of like, well, I'm going to write a book. Because I was like, I'm going to write a book. I I want to teach other people how to love a battered woman. So that's kind of where it came from. And then it just blossomed from there. Mm, Gotcha. So for you, where did the, the revelation come to creating letters to you as far as compiling that? Oh, man. I have been a writer my whole entire life. Like, I have poems that I've written since I was younger. I, mm. I've i always been creative in in that way of wanting to use words to describe how I feel or paint a picture because I'm not, I can't paint an actual picture, so I, mm. I use words to do that. And so... Um, I've been in therapy since 2019, and my therapist, she really, she really, really, really tasked me with writing letters to people who have hurt me, mm. and I felt like I really needed to process emotions and, and get some things out, and so in doing that, letters to you sort of blossomed in that way because I found journal entries that I'd written. I found letters that I'd actually written back in uh, 2016 when I left my physically abusive ex. I'd found an online journal that I'd been writing to myself in 2017. And I just thought to myself, like, you know, I'm such a transparent person. I'm such an open person. And a lot of people could benefit from seeing the healing journey that I'd gone through. And, you know, the things that that I was writing down it just it just made sense for me to compile all of them and put it into a body of work that people can read and see that they might be feeling that way now and see where I am now with with my husband. Half shout out to Husbe yes. with Husbe <laughs> and how I you know there's literal journal journal entries where I'm I'm actually saying like I don't think anybody's ever gonna love me for who I am mm-hmm. and now I'm in this beautiful relationship and so. I just want, I wanted people to see what the healing process looks like for me because I get that question a lot, especially when I'm coaching. Mm-hmm. And so I just, I just wanted to put it in, in a place where people can refer to it. And I actually accidentally deleted my first manuscript last year. So oh, that was, I had to re, I had to rewrite it, but it's a much better book now. <laughs> <laughs> it came together perfectly. Um, yeah. With your social posts, and like what, one thing that I really love about you and I love about all of your social platforms is you are, like you said, you're very open, you're very vulnerable in, in sharing a lot of these things. So I'll see some posts and you'll talk about, you know, an ex that said X, Y, and Z or did X, Y, and Z. I'm like, oh my gosh, either Nia, Renee, and I dated the same douchebag or there's some kind of douchebag playbook that these guys are sharing on the internet. Because I'm like, this is it's like a textbook word for word what that idiot mm-hmm. said to me so it's it is wow the the way that it just translates across every every spectrum of of life like i said i tip my hat to you sis 
I absolutely yeah, they, do. They, 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 put, they all go, they come from the same book now. They, I don't yeah. know where this book is at. I don't know if it's on <laughs> Amazon or what, but they all have the same playing cards. <laughs> <laughs> the same playing book. Now, where do you get... Where did the courage for you come from as far as sharing about your life? Because a lot of people, we could see on social media, we can see in the world and websites, they, you know, they read all these books and they have all this education and this is what the book says and blah, blah, blah. Where did you pull from to share these these life experiences, which are not, you know, as wonderful as we would love for them to be? How were you able to pull courage to share those? I just really, I really wanted to take my power back, and I've been silenced mm-hmm. my whole entire life. I was always told to be seen and not heard, mm-hmm. and I always hated that. I always I felt like, why do I need to not speak about these things? Like, it was always frowned upon. Yeah. And how I feel, how I process things, I have to say it out loud, or I have to put it on paper. And I actually started posting, like, smaller things on my personal Facebook page, Um probably around like 20 honestly 2014 when I really started sharing my health journey Mm -hmm. and I had a few people message me when I would talk about certain things during sexual assault awareness month or domestic violence awareness month and a few of my friends messaged me and they're like you have no idea how much you're saving my life by Mm -hmm. you know I feel less alone by the things that you're talking about and I got such an incredible response that I was like well maybe I could do this publicly Mm -hmm. and I was never afraid of people hearing my it's my truth you know it's things that I've I've experienced these things and so I was just like you know what forget it like I'm just gonna I'm going to put my truth out there I'm going to talk about my experiences and if people don't like it that's on them Mm -hmm. and the people that don't like it were the people in my life that were doing these things to me Mm -hmm. so I just wanted, I really just wanted to take my power back. I, I really, really wanted to have a voice. And so I, I was going to do whatever it took to find my voice. Because yes. I just, I don't really like the whole, well, women need to be seen and not heard. No, you're going to see me and you're going to yeah. hear me. Yeah, at this day and age? Oh, baby. you going to see mm-hmm. it, you're going to hear it, you're going to feel it in some cases. So keep on playing Period. with us. Keep playing. Great. <laughs> Play if you want to. <laughs> I love it. So ultimately, what do you want readers to get from this first book project? I really want people to take a look and say, wow, she's gone through so much and she's been able to create something so beautiful out of her pain. And if she can do it, Mm. I can do it. So I, it's especially when it comes to representation, mm-hmm. I, I, I don't like that a lot of black women that have been through a lot of the similar things that I've gone through. The only time you really hear their stories is if it's drawn out on some reality TV show that's painting them in a negative light mm-hmm. and or it's made fun of. I want people to be able to see that there's somebody that has gone through these things and has and has been able to pull herself out of all of it and create their own lane, their own brand, their own, you know, I want people to be able to find their power and their purpose. Mm, I love that. What is the best way for people to get more information about you and also to get the book? Yeah, so you guys can um, get more information about me on my website, howtolovebatteredwoman.com, or you can find me right now, kind of my most popular platform is Instagram, at howtolovebatteredwoman, and that has all of my links. I can find absolutely everything that I'm, excuse me, everything that I'm working on from my coaching to my book, my journals, everything that I have to offer. I love that. Nia Renee, thank you so much for coming through and blessing us today, sprinkling some good. Thanks for having me. <laughs> some good energy. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm just going to put it out there. I'm going to need for you to come back because I know that you're working on some stuff. I know you got stuff on the stove cooking. You know, we may not have been able to talk Girl, about that today. That book has already so, got a title on you know, it now. <laughs> you you got to come back. You know, definitely loving what you bring to the table. So you definitely got to come back. And um, I certainly appreciate you coming through. 
I really, really thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you to each and every one of you guys. Thank you for all of the love. All the support makes a huge difference. Keep in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do. You look them square in the face. You tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. (laughs) Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for. The history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Till next time, you guys.